Hi, welcome back to Cycles of Change. This is the 10th tutorial in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to do action research. Cycles are really important in the process of action research because unlike other forms of research that might be a single project, action research is learning over time. So it's by comparing and contrasting what happens with experimenting with change over time that gives you the deep knowledge that comes from action research. So it is important to think about your cycles, but it's often hard for novice action researchers to figure out when a cycle starts, when it ends, how to move from one cycle to the next. The relationship between cycles is not obvious. And there is, of course, the normative model that you see in all of the illustrations of action research. You will see spirals that say cycle one leading immediately to cycle two leading to cycle three. Um, and this is the normative pattern and there's nothing special about three cycles. They don't always lead directly to the next cycle and cycles don't always stop. You can have different kinds of patterns and I tried to illustrate a few of them in this slide. So you can have a situation where a person puts in place an action and the action continues from the first cycle and at some point along the way the person says okay that's successful enough I'm going to reflect on it and think about how to improve it and maybe that action stays in place but a new action that that supplements or adds to that action is started and then at some point that one is seen as successful and there is a reflection and then an, a further refinement that doesn't um, change either of the two first cycles. So in this case, all three cycles run concurrently. Uh, now that's not always the case because sometimes cycles don't work. And so you might have a situation where you start a practice and that practice uh, is sustained, but then your next activity may be less successful and those activities might not be sustained and then maybe your final one is. So I'm going to give an example to illustrate that. Suppose you are a director or a principal or a leader of a team and you have monthly meetings and your overall action research question is, how can I improve the involvement of the people on my team in, my, in the monthly meetings? And maybe for the first time, you decide you're going to do something that will give you some feedback about what things people find valuable in that meeting. So maybe you put a lightning reflection at the end of the meeting. So everybody in the meeting in one sentence or less tells the group what they found valuable during that meeting. And maybe that turns out to be really successful and it, it's helping the director see what can be changed. But that's not enough. So cycle two, the director is still thinking about how can I get more involvement? And maybe they decide to have an open agenda. So they let people sign up for making presentations at the meeting. And maybe nobody signs up. Maybe the culture of the group is so ingrained at having the leader talk that no one felt comfortable enough to sign up. So that cycle wasn't successful. Maybe for cycle three, the director decides to tap one or more people to talk during the meeting. And maybe they are highly dependent on the director for what to say. In reflection, the effect is that they change the voices, but not really the participation in the meeting. So maybe for a third cycle, after some reflection and after talking to the people in the group and some other action researchers, the director decides to change the structure of the way they work. So suppose he puts them in learning circles and the meeting now shifts from one in which they are listening to someone talk to a good half of the time spent in working in learning circles and then one learning circle reports out their findings, their work each month. And so now you have a meeting that is split between the director talking, group work, and a group reporting out. And maybe that's seen as uh, now successful enough that the person wants to report out to others. So in summary, not all actions continue the whole time. Some actions start and stop, some run continuously, and 
If you look in the activities for this tutorial, you will find that I've listed a number of ways that people transition between uh, cycles. So it can be a different activity with the same group. It can be a new activity with a different group. You can uh, change levels. If you look in the resources, you'll see a really good example of what uh, the Carnegie Foundation is calling improvement science, something that's very similar to action research. And they have a list of cycles and the way in which the cycles spiral up in levels. So you'll see that they talk about one principal making a change at his, his school and then multiple principals at multiple schools and then all the way up to a policy. Um, often there is a shift in levels from doing something with, say, in a classroom and then on a later cycle helping other teachers do that similar practice in their classroom. So that's what I mean by shifting levels. And you can also shift technology. So sometimes doing something similar but with a really different technology can uh, create a different way of experimenting with change. Of course, the goal of all of these is to create deep understanding of the way in which you change and the social setting in which you are working changes. So that's really the purpose of the cycles. And you often find that a cycle um, comes from a phrase that you might say in a reflection, what if I change this? And as soon as you see that question pop up, what if I change this? That's a really good clue that you're on the way to a new cycle of action research. Uh, so that's, that's it for cycles of change. And in the next tutorial, we'll talk a little bit about writing up or sharing your action research uh, cycles with other action researchers or with the people in your setting at conferences or in a written um, journal. We look forward to having you join us for tutorial 11. Until then, good luck with your action research.